Uavionics has gained sizable traction in the avionics world the past couple of years, and of course they're here at AirVetra 2022. They've got a milestone to report and some new interfaces to hear all about it. Let's go talk to Shane Woodson. Hi, Shane Woodson here with Uavionics, and we are here at Oshkosh 2022, and we're we're sort of celebrating this year with the um, uh, the announcement that we've actually shipped 50 over 50,000 ADSB units into the general aviation market, and that's really a subset of what we've done in ADSB overall, because we've actually reached over 600 650,000 units between the manned and the unmanned um, aviation market. So it's a it's a big accomplishment to it. Um, we're really proud of the, 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 the pilot community accepting the brand and, and what we're doing. But something else that's really exciting here at AirVenture is we just this week um, uh, sent out a press release and we've got the announcement that uh, Transport Canada has approved and implemented their equivalency of the FAA NORC approval. And so now our AV20 two inch um, clock display with multifunction uh, probeless angle of attack and backup attitude indicator is now available for those uh, um, Canadian uh, aviators that want a NORSI approved and, and so it can be installed in certified planes as well as experimentals. So um, huge feat for the safety of the industry in Canada um, and those Canadian pilots here. A uh, lot of interaction here at um, AirVenture 2022. Alright and so on to kind of our, our flagship product here at AirVenture is our AV30 and um, this product uh, we actually acquired from um, Aerovonics back in 2019 and the, the aviation community acceptance of what we've done with the AV30 as a primary attitude in indicator, primary DG has just been overwhelming and so um, we're continuing to add new features to that. Um, we've added in the autopilot functionality for TrueTrack, uh, the Aero Cruise, as well as the Trio. Um, so we've actually got our partners over at Trio that had the product on display as well. And so uh, we're really excited. That's been put into the experimental phase of the AV30, and then the certified will come um, and be approved for certification here in the near future. Um, and then we're also continuing the development and integration for those legacy autopilots. So um, a lot of news about autopilot happening and, and now moving forward. And then as part of the AV30, we've introduced our AV Mag, which is a external magnetometer. And some really cool ideas and, and features that um, were added into that for the experimental version. So if you have a GPS feed, and a AV mag, now we can actually take and derive and show the display on the screen where you're showing your, your wind speed and wind direction. So you actually have a, a true magnetic heading uh, versus just a traditional DG that you get in the plane and set. So there's a lot of um, you know, excitement about and, and requests for that AV magnetometer. And, and at UAVionics, we're proud to say we've actually got inventory on AV30s, on tail beacon Xs. Um, you know, one of the things is we've got the components, it's, it's building them. So everything here is built in the United States. So, you know, there's a little bit of a, a you know, a lag on, on building it, but we're talking literally just a matter of a few weeks versus, you know, months on, on those things. So um, it's more of a shipping constraint of how many we can ship out in a, in a day versus, you know, the components are there and we're in stock so if you're looking at buying or building an aircraft and upgrading your panel um, you know we've got the inventory and we've got the components I would say that you know um, those lead times for those components right now um, are you know months and months out um, and so we're in a great position right now but as we move towards if you're if you're upgrading the panel within the next six months I would probably recommend to go ahead and start to lock in some of those things now because once we get out to six months and a year it kind of gets into an unknown area but uh, I'm proud to say right now we are in good position for for your upgrade needs now